Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to the channel. We are here to do some more PlayStation VR 2 news. We've got very, very good news regarding Gran Turismo 7. The news just keep on coming. The developer said some more regarding this game and those are very cool things. And also we've got brand new game announced called Garden of the Sea from the developers of Budget Codes. So let's get started. We're gonna begin from the Gran Turismo 7. I'm getting small here. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> So here we are once again on the GT Planet. They're doing uh, coverage of this game all, all week. It seems like it. they're gonna be doing it and they're gonna bring new articles uh, every now and then uh, and new info. So they've done interview with, with the series creator Kazunori Yamauchi, but they, uh, he spoke a bit more and they just published it on their website. So what he's saying is Gran Turismo 7 on PSVR 2 is historically significant, says Kazunori Yamauchi. I mean, look how beautiful it looks. But anyway, the Gran Turismo series had a lot of milestone over its 25 year history, but the anticipation surrounding Gran Turismo 7 free launch day, launch day support for PlayStation VR 2 is reaching hype levels not seen in quite some time. If ever, I think if ever it's good saying we all <laughs> cannot wait for this game. And I did play it, Racing Sims on PC, you know, Project Cars and everything, but this 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 time this is feel special. Kazu Kazuno Kazunori Yamauchi feels it too. And what he says is uh, let's just go into it. I don't think it's just about Gran Turismo 7 becoming compatible with virtual reality. It's pretty historically significant that a full spec racing game is now playable in virtual reality. Uh, now, like I said, Project Cars, Assetto Corsa, R Factor, you can get those games on PC, but I think what he means, you know, with all the multiplayer extra showroom mode when you can look at the cars as well and on the console as well. Yamauchi san said during his recent interview with GT Planet, it's the first time in racing game history that we are able to do this now. So I think that this is really a significant moment. When I had a chance to preview GT7 on PSVR 2 last week, that significance started to become clear. GT Sport introduced virtual reality to the franchise, but it was little more than a technical showcase. In Gran Turismo 7, you can immerse yourself into the full game with virtual reality. It's a completely seamless experience, as explained in my hands-on video. VR Showroom, in addition to the gameplay, VR Showroom will be coming to the Gran Turismo 7, allowing players to experience and explore every car. Inside and out, in virtual reality, I found the feature quite compelling during my time with the PSVR 2 headset, and Yamauchi-san admits he does not quite know how people will react to it. It's gonna be quite cool info about this mod in a second, but anyway. What he says is, I don't actually have a clear vision on what this could bring, Yamauchi said. I think the meaning of that is something that we really won't see until PlayStation VR 2s go out and are delivered. <laughs> Speaking about delivery, I got week off, but I'm sure it's gonna come after my week off. It's just my look. Uh, but anyway, let's continue. And people actually start experiencing it. I think there will be a lot of different things that will happen by this new experience, but I'm not exactly sure what that might bring at this time. And this is cool. So we're gonna talk about manufacturer's reactions. Making the car so accessible to the public could also impact how a manufacturer views having its basic vehicles in the game like Gran Turismo 7. That's very important. Uh, especially that VR showroom mode. Uh, having GT7 fully supporting VR, it could change how people look at cars. And that's not just for people at manufacturers, but for everyone that tries it. Yamauchi-san continued. Visiting car design centers of automobile automobile manufacturers, even about 10 years ago, each one of them had a VR headset environment where you could see the car in 3D. So even the designers of car manufacturers wanted to look at cars properly in virtual reality while they were working on the design. Very interesting. A VR setup has to be perfect if it's going to really work well, but that's something that's very hard. Data has to look very good. It has to be very light, so it can be rendered properly in high speeds. A setup has to be perfect for it to work, and that's not even an easy thing to do. I think the designers at car manufacturers will be very surprised to see the combination of Gran Turismo and in PlayStation VR 2, and I think they'll be very happy to see their cars in that environment. Nice. A turning point for VR. Yamauchi-san is also looking at the importance of the PlayStation VR 2 launch 
uh, in a wider content. I think it's a big moment obviously for GT7 and the 25 years of history, but at the same time VR, he explained, it's something that's been around and has been worked on since about 50 years ago. At the time I was born there were already experimental technologies for virtual reality being worked on, seeing this reach this point. 50 years from then, I think it's an important moment for that technology as well. I think at the current time, the combination of GT7 and PSVR 2 right now is the best VR experience that humankind <laughs> can have. And I think it's something to be celebrated. 100% agree. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for it to, 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 just, to, to just be, to just be. Uh, so yeah, not long, 20 seconds. It's already 7th today. The, you know, near, we are nearly here. It's happening 15 days from now on. Now let's move on to the another story and we're gonna talk about Garden of the Sea, a brand new game announced for PlayStation VR 2. So let's play it, uh, play the trailer first maybe. Uh, wait, where's the trailer? Where's my trailer gone? Okay, I don't have it. <laughs> okay. Right, I've got it. No? Well, it's not working. What can we do about that? Uh, okay, I think I fixed it. I had to pause it for a moment. Uh, so let's go. So that's the trailer from the game. Uh, I might have to turn out the sound because of course I get copyright strike. Uh, we look at the trailer, uh, get a bit of an idea what it is and then we start talking about it a bit more. Uh, we go to the Steam page later. So yeah, I'm gonna put in seeds and watering plants, uh, build in a little path, okay, a big garden, scarecrow, I see. You can go on a boat, that's all right. Oh, look at that, you can upgrade your building, a nice bed, you can change colors and you can sleep down there. Somebody cooked a pie, this fat bird will eat it. Okay, nice fence for the, okay, owl, so I'm assuming you can do photos of wildlife, uh, very nice. Okay, you can wave at things, what's this? I had a whale, and this is a seal, I'm assuming. Okay, some sort of flying dragon, a person. So that is Garden of the Sea. And this is going to be uh, the launch title for PlayStation VR 2. Okay. So it's coming from the developers of Budget Codes. And basically what they say here on the Steam, you wake up on a small island in a magical world, grow your garden, nurture local creatures, Furnish your home or adventure across the seas to explore more island and gather new resources. This world is for you. Got very positive reviews. I can see, you can see from all the time. Come out on PC last year from the developers of Budget Codes, like I said, and it's coming to PlayStation VR 2. PC version cost 19.49 quid. We see how much uh, the uh, our version for PSVR 2 will cost. So yeah, okay, that's it for now. Stay tuned to the channel. Uh, of course, big shout out to all the patrons. Once, I, once I've got um, any other PlayStation VR 2 news, I will do video right away. But for now, that's it. Bye 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 bye.